Here we are at High Point State Park, which is so fun and exciting to be back here. Here we started on May 31st. We went that way, northbound, and today we're back to start our southbound journey. We'll be walking that way. Like, look, there it is. Like, we know, we know all the adventure behind that door. That's 850 miles of it. Like, think about all the cool stuff we did. And then that door right there holds as much cool adventure. Yes. Oh, yeah. I've just been thinking about that for like weeks. I love that. Let's do it. Do it. There's a girl who says she loved me. All my pot dust and making roses. And if she's still around, I'm gonna settle down with that hard love in Georgia today. Shoot, this is already easier than. Ooh, 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 ooh. Lunch at Sunrise Mountain. We are excited to be back in New Jersey. It's been a nice day on trail. We started about 8.30 this morning and part of our plan is to go to a restaurant. We're almost to the road crossing. We've come 14, almost 14 and a half miles and it's two o'clock. So there are lots of rocks and roots, but the train is mostly flat <laughs> and we're just like, this is amazing. Uh, so hopefully this restaurant's open and we're enjoying being back in New Jersey and we've been in three states. Uh, yeah, this time last week we were climbing down a ball slide <laughs> coming off Katahdin. So this time last week we were finishing up Maine and we drove ourselves to Vermont. We finished up Vermont. And now here we are in New Jersey. And maybe tomorrow or the next day, we'll finish up New Jersey. And we're excited to feel like we're making progress and just appreciate everyone cheering us on and coming on this adventure with us. day 90. We hiked 20.7 miles today. We had an 8.30 start, so a little late, but we made it. It's about 7 right now. Yes, we found just a place in the woods. We were going to try and go a little bit further to a tent site, but we were tired. Hanging some real bear bags. Ready it's to... been completely flat today. No more We've been on a ridge almost the whole time, or maybe it's just... It's pretty nice. Really flat. What are you drinking? Oh, no, we're making uh, alcohol stoves. Oh, that's right. Dad Dews packed out four had. Mountain Dews. We had lunch at this Mountain House Grill, and I wasn't so sold again. And I wasn't sold on it at the first part because it's called like Mountain House Grill. And I've been eating that for 80 days. So, but it was actually pretty good. They had burgers. It was good. We spent two hours there this afternoon. That was a good treat. We were going to have an. We were going to have a early dinner there, but it turned out to be like 2 o'clock. Menthol. So yeah, we, we didn't think we'd be there till 4, yeah, four and we were there at 2. So. You wipe it off in your we sock. got a like 3 mile an hour pace today. Because you definitely yes. did it. flat. It was awesome. There were like two parts. <laughs> Great job, everyone. It's day 91. We're on the rocks in New Jersey. We woke up at about 5.30. 
about 6.30 now, and we're hoping to make it to Delaware Water Gap, 22 miles today. Check out this tree oh, that's in honor of football starting soon. He scores. <laughs> it is August 29th and all the leaves have changed and fallen. looks like end of September or October, but it was such a dry summer. We heard the leaves would fall, would change and fall early this year. So we're hiking through fall, end of August. Though it's still gonna be 80 something degrees today. It's hot and sticky. All right, we just finished lunch at the Mohican Outdoor Center. Had sandwiches and chips. This road is as hot as the video makes it look. The sun is like right in our eyes. It's 85 degrees out here. We're about to cross the Delaware River. The interstate is right here next to us. We're in Delaware Water Gap. Eating bagels on Marty's porch for breakfast. Here's Marty's yellow house. We camped in his yard right on the trail. We walked up that hill from the little town of Delaware Water Gap. It's like a tenth of a mile from the little town. Off we go. We have stopped for a 30 minute pack salt break, snacks, refill water at Kirkridge Shelter. And we've gone a little over six miles. We have nine miles to go, and there's no more water today. So it is cooling off. There's a breeze. It's been <sighs> extra hot and humid. All right, don't be deceived by this beautiful fall scene. It is currently 79 degrees and very humid. We are climbing wolf rocks and watching out for snakes. Supposedly there's a lot of rattlesnakes around. All right, I just walked by the snake. I walked by pretty quickly. The kids are in front. I don't think they saw it. Daryl's behind me. I wonder if I should wait and tell them they're about to walk right there. 
All right, today, Texas Pete has a heat rash yeah. on his back. Really, that was yesterday. The whole family's slag packing me. I have a few bug bites and a heat rash. It hurt pretty bad last night, especially. So we're slack packing them today. We've hiked 60 miles in the last three days. It's 245, really, you can always say two and a half days. It's been hot. It's hot. And it has gotten rocky. We got picked up in Wind Gap by Cindy. Her trail name is Ivy. We met her family this summer as they completed their section hike of the AT. They hosted us at their home, which was amazing, and Ninja Squirrel got a haircut. All right, here's Jasper right before he goes in for a haircut. Let's get the 360. Oh, yeah. It's like a shaggy. Three months. All right, let's see when he comes out. All right. Jasper and Baxter spotted this guy next to the trail and warned me, who then waited and warned Grace and Mom. He is a big dude. Maybe not quite as big as the one we saw yesterday. But he's taking his time. All right, side quest. Well, we haven't filled up with water yet, but we can. Success. 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 Everyone got two treats. It was a hot walk here, but this is definitely mm -hmm. worth coming back for. That's a giant supermarket Leaving Blue Mountain. <laughs> Have a safe trip home. <laughs> On to Lehigh Gap. Starting the climb down Lehigh Gap, it's, well, we just looked, I can't remember now. It's kind of steep, what, like 950 feet and 1.2 miles. So it's the most elevation change we've done in a while. We got a nice view. first alcohol stove going. And that keeps heat in. We're gonna see we're gonna see if we can boil a liter and a half of water with it. What are we having for dinner? Mashed mashed potatoes, bacon bits, and then we add some shred cheese. Yum. Yeah. Alright, and Grayson and Baxter have had some chafing and heat yeah. rash on their back. We patched it a little with KT. Yeah, we used kind of Body scared. Glide and then we thought, let's just cover yeah. it. And it worked all right today. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's day 94. I'm just 
filtering water into a pickle juice jar and drinking it. So now it's pickly water. I already water. had all the pickle juice, so now it's just pickly water. It's right there. It is September 1st. Mm -hmm. We have not videoed too much the last few days. We've been busy hiking. We did 80 miles yeah. the last four days. But we did go... We went to Wind Gap, Pennsylvania. We met... Uh, Cindy, Mike, and Quay. Also known as Poison, Ivy, and Firecracker in uh, Massachusetts or Connecticut. But they live right uh, here in Wind Gap. Uh, so this was two or three nights ago. We stayed at their house, and that was really nice. Yeah, we had met them on trail we back in, in June. Bay. And they said, when you come to Wind Gap, we'll host you. So that was nice. That was nice. So we got off trail at 3 o'clock that afternoon. Mm -hmm. And... Let's see, Skipper took Ninja yeah. Squirrel. Got a haircut. You got a this haircut. Is the after. Um, and, uh, went to urgent care for an infected toe. Resupply. Uh, all, yeah, all the things. We some more. Oh, yeah, we went to Petco looking for a bowl to soak my toe in. Yes. We didn't find it at Pet. It's somewhere on my backpack. I know. Can you, can you find it? It's, it's at the back. We didn't find it at Petco. We found it at, like, this is Here's his little collapsible bowl so yeah. he can soak his toe in Epsom salts. It's a collapsible dog bowl. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to work. So, yeah, we're hoping to break 100 today. Yep. Ooh. In five days. That's There's the our latest goal. Yes. Good job. Hey, there's a big spider web. Can you see it in the sun? Yeah. Is there a spider on it? I don't see the spider. You don't have to duck too much. <laughs> All right, so here's how we've spent the morning. I'm feeling better, but I felt totally terrible. Possible yeah, I ate, food I poisoning. Ate, I don't know. I ate some. I never threw up. But, but I don't have the chills anymore. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna sleep another thirty minutes. Okay. Well, we have been hanging out here in the woods. Uh, we hiked about five miles, and Daryl has not felt well today. He didn't sleep well last night. He said that his mind and his body told him it was what he ate last night. And so we've been here about three and a half hours. He's been taking a nap up in the woods and it's been a nice break. We had made a goal. Well, we said it would be cool if we did a 20 mile day again today. And I think we will have done, we would have done a hundred miles in five days. And as much as we thought like, oh, that would be cool. Uh, it's fine that we've taken a break this morning. Maybe this was meant to be our bodies needed a rest. And Daryl says he's feeling better. He's taken some charcoal twice. He hasn't thrown up, but he said he is feeling a little bit better. So we're just going to take it slow today. We're also on a section still, there's just hardly any water. Um, there's a water cash well a cooler here but it was empty when we got here this morning it says it's refilled every night and it was empty this morning at nine o'clock um so a lot of hikers have already gone through and the next water is in eight miles we can walk to a restaurant so we have enough um but yeah it's been an interesting day <laughs> The sound of a road and civilization and a restaurant. All right, here we go. Looking. Mm -hmm. 
We just ate at this restaurant, Thunderbird Lodge. Thunderhead Lodge. Thunderhead Lodge. And then the trail is right here. All right, we've walked a third of a mile from the restaurant and decided to call it a night. We did 13.8 miles today, which included a three and a half hour stop when Daryl did not feel well. So we still made some good progress and need an early night. Well, sorry, 6.15, but an early night and some good sleep and hopefully You'll be 100% in the morning. 7 o'clock bedtime. Right on. All right, we have our camp set up. And Texas Pete is reading on his Kindle. Oh, so happy. Yes. Just got that. Ninja Squirrel is preparing an Epsom salt. Soak for his toe. It does go over, Grayson. One challenge about walking on these rocks and looking down all the time that sometimes you forget to look up. And Grayson just got that in the face, which we have all come close to doing or have done. And that is no fun. We've hiked just a little bit off trail to get to a shelter area where we can charge stuff, sit and eat lunch. There's a bathroom. How's Pennsylvania? How's your day been? It's not actually as rocky as I thought it would be. Yeah, it hasn't, like, uh, it hasn't been that bad. Not too bad. On and off. Yeah. Your thoughts on Pennsylvania? It's flat. It's very flat. Because once you get onto the ridge, there aren't, there aren't rocks in Pennsylvania. Not yet. I think we've had a lot of rocks. But it's flat. Well, yeah. It's just flat. Yeah. Not as bad as a race. We are hiking to the Pinnacle, an overlook on the Appalachian Trail in Pennsylvania. And it's been a nice walk. It's shady. There's been a nice breeze this afternoon. We've just hit a bunch of rocks. But for the most part, it's just been like a dirt road. And that's been a nice break from the Pennsylvania rocks. Here we go, the pinnacle. <laughs> Pulpit Rock. It's still pretty good though. How far is the tenths of Ooh, Like two tenths of a mile. Not far. We got to climb this big hill though. How far have we been? We've been 21 miles. Just a little further. We have found a tent site. Excellent tent site. We're eating dinner. We saw the pinnacles today. The pinnacle pulpit oh. rock. They were the same view. Yeah. All right, we're eating dinner. This is a crowd favorite. Right, boys? What you got? I'm already what? done. It's ramen. What? You're already done. It's more than ramen. It's ramen with olive oil. 
and mm. chicken. Oh yeah, we put some Don't chicken. Don't you know, put chicken. And saltines. Oh, and yes. We have saltines. This is our first time on trail and they are really good. We have five miles into no, Port Clinton and we're gonna spend most of the day in Port Clinton, Hamburg area, do resupply, eat at a restaurant, just relax a little bit, and then we'll hike a few more miles into the woods late this afternoon or tonight. So I have high hopes as always for any kind of rest day, and then often it doesn't end up being very restful. But we're not doing showers and laundry. Uh, I think we will, again, I'm very hopeful <laughs> that it will be restful. Um, and we did sleep in all this week. We've gotten up at 5.30 and we're walking by 6.30. I'm trying to beat the heat, though it didn't get too, too bad. I think being up on a ridge in the shade with a little bit of breeze, it was nice. I mean, it was, it was hot, we're hot and sweaty, but not as bad as we thought it was gonna be. We thought we would stop for, have to stop for a while in the afternoon. Um, Two of the boys have like some heat rash chafing on their backs, but, and we thought we would, that would slow us down. We would just need to stop, but they did fine. It wasn't really bothering them when they were sweating a little bit more in the late afternoon. So we're proud of ourselves. We made a lot of miles this week. Being in Pennsylvania, it is flat. It's just amazing. <laughs> um, it's been rocky, certainly rocky, big rocks at times small rocks, then you have fields of medium rocks. Um, so it definitely lives up to its name, Rocksylvania. There are a lot of rocks, but it's flat. Um, you know, we have some ups and downs, but the climbs don't last very long. So it's been nice. Clinton, Pennsylvania. We've walked to this pavilion where hikers are allowed to stay and also Cabela's runs a shuttle. So we're waiting on Cabela's to come pick us up and take us over to Hamburg where we will resupply and eat and then hopefully get back here and get back on trail. We're walking through the world's largest Cabela's. Seven acres under one roof. Here's one of our favorite things. on a stream, Hamburg, Pennsylvania. Cabela's. All right. Now we're leaving Port Clinton. Enjoy the scenery, Justin. That's what I just said. Hey, enjoy the scenery. I will. Stick 
bug. Right on the white blaze. It's day 96. We took a kind of a Nero today. A little yeah. bit. We so we went five miles into Port Clinton, and we've gone about two miles out now. Yeah, Cabela's runs a shuttle at 10, 1, and 5. So we got the 10 o'clock shuttle a few miles into Hamburg, Pennsylvania. We went to Cabela's, mm -hmm. ate at Cracker Barrel. Oh, Cracker Barrel was good. Amazing. And Walmart, then back to Cabela's and... We knew we couldn't make the one o'clock shuttle, so we took our time, and then we had a while to just hang out this afternoon for a few hours and rest and relax, and we were kind of like, oh, I don't want to wait till the five o'clock, but it was so hot. Yeah. It was probably good that we were resting. We couldn't have hiked. Well, it was so hot, so now we're back on trail. A little less than two miles to a campsite. Yeah, a few miles to go. Oh, Grayson saw a porcupine. Oh, yeah. We've seen some deer. Time to set up camp. In the, in the dark. It's getting dark. Okay, today is Saturday, September 3rd. We left High Point State Park last Sunday. And so we've walked for seven days. This is day seven. And we've hiked 120 miles in seven days, which has been awesome. We've been killing it. It's been great weather. We, we all have our little aches and pains, um, but but we've moved our average way up and we've, and I think we've convinced ourselves we probably can pull off home by Thanksgiving if we can keep this pace up. So this has been an awesome week. We're, uh, we're looking forward to Duncannon in about four days. Harper's Ferry is about maybe 10 days off. Um, and then we tackle Virginia 